Hey guys, it's Dr. Thomas with Plum Health, Direct Primary Care, and last week I got invited to go out to Lansing and work with some legislators, Senator Patrick Kolbeck and State Representative Ned Canfield, as well as some other direct primary care doctors like Chad Savage of Your Choice Direct Primary Care. And what we're working on is potentially a Medicaid pilot program that could help to pay direct primary care physicians to spend more time with their patients and really take care of Medicaid patients in a way that saves money over the long term. You know, I believe that this greater responsiveness, this ability to spend more time with folks to really get to the root of the problem can save individuals and the health system a lot of money over the long term. And, and this is what I really want for the state of Michigan. We spend about a quarter of our state's budget on Medicaid. So whatever we can do to reduce those costs and give better care to folks in our state is something that I want to support. So I did a little interview with Patrick Kolbeck, and I'll show that in the next clip. But thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful night. Hey guys, it's Dr. Thomas with Plum Health, and I'm out here with Senator Patrick Kolbeck. We're in Lansing, and we're talking about some legislation changes, some pilot programs where we can advance direct primary care and start providing more equitable, affordable health care for more people across the state of Michigan. Yeah. So um, if you want to say a few words yeah. about what we did tonight or... Oh, today could have been a major milestone for returning appreciation for free market health care and, and unshackling doctors from the constraints that the government's, you know, put on doctors, on the practice of medicine. Um, I'm hoping that today's just the beginning of something very special where we actually return to an appreciation for the role that primary care physicians play in preventive care. Mm -hmm. um, and if we can go off and get in good, high-quality preventive care and incentivize that, we can keep people out of the hospitals. We can keep people with better, healthier outcomes when we can serve underserved populations more effectively. And uh, isn't that what healthcare is all about? Yeah, the triple aim. Yeah. I, I just want to say thank you, uh, Senator Colbeck, for having me out here. I really appreciate the invitation. I uh, appreciate your time. I appreciate it.